Today, let's look at the bent arm press handstand. With a standard press handstand, we come into this position here, and then we go up either in straddle, pike, or tuck, or something like that. We keep the arms relatively straight. Now, with the bent arm version, you go exactly the same, but we bend the arms, and then we lift up from there into our handstand. Now, the reasons we might bend our arms might be flexibility. So you literally can't get enough forward fold, squished position to allow you to get the hips high enough and over the top. Might be conditioning of that position as well. So you might have the flexibility, but you just don't have the positioning strength. So you're not strong in that actual position to be able to go up to your straight arm press handstand. Well, it might just be habit. You're way more comfortable in that position because being this position is actually pretty uncomfortable for most people. And it's quite scary because you're committing to lots of weight forwards and it does feel like you're gonna face plant. So the bent arm version allows you to stay back further this direction, but also get the hip on top of the hands and allows you to go up from there. So there are some benefits to it and some reasons you might wanna use it. So it could unlock that first press type movement into a handstand, or it could unlock harder variations. So you might have a straight version in straddle, which is seen as easier than a pike. Now a pike is harder to get up from there. So if we come into this position, now bend the arms, I might be able to unlock the pike using that bent arm version instead of the straight arm version. And I've got the straddle straight arm already. So if you are using it to access one of the harder variations that you can't quite do with straight arms yet, what I'd recommend is you do is go up for the press with the bent arms. But when you do the eccentric, the down, you come down for a straight arm as slow as possible, especially through the bit you get stuck in. So you get some time under tension with the straight arms in the area that you need to work on. And this works exactly the same if you was using P-bars. So you might not be able to get up straight arm from there. So you wanna add in the bent arm to pull the hip on top of the hand, which allows you to go up from there. You could use it on the store to press. So from this point, so the arms bend, pulls the legs round, then I push, ooh, push up to handstand, and then ideally I would do the straight arm on the way down, if that's my intention or my goal. You could use it with the wall variations. I wouldn't really use it on the eccentric, so they're coming down, but I would definitely use it on the concentric going up. So into that position, head against the wall to start with, and then I'm gonna bend the arms push the shoulders into the wall, and then I can go up there. See how much easier that is to go up in that position because I've lowered the shoulder and head comparable to the hips. The wall version is also really good to build confidence in the position if you're worried about face planting. This way you can commit a little bit more to putting weight down and forwards because you can rest against the wall, push against it, and see whether you can lift the legs up. If it is really comfortable, I'd recommend trying then a little bit further away, just see if you can get the float of the legs. If you can't get the float of the legs or you feel scared, then you can build that confidence with slow eccentrics. You could go bent arm against the wall. It's just a little bit risky for some people because you've already committed so much weight up and over and now all my weight is in front of my hands. So if I add the bend in the arms and I can't hold myself, I'm just gonna keep moving because I've got all of my weight above my head. But normally the people that are exploring the bent arm version tend to be people that are more stronger and less flexible. And I'd recommend that anyone builds confidence and strength in the bottom position, both with straight arms and bent arms. So you could just hang out in this position, right up onto tiptoes as much as you can, trying to make the toes as light as possible. If you can, you could float your toes there and then do the same thing with the bent arms. So go there as much weight as you feel comfortable, start to make the toes light. If you can, start to pick the toes up, see if you can hold there for time. Slowly increasing the percentage of weight in the hands and decreasing the percentage of weight in the feet. Let me know how you go with this one down in the comments and I'll speak to you next time.